Over the last few months, I've been falling asleep listening to a Learn a Language CD that I found at a thrift store. It's all well and good, but my CD player skipped, so now I know how to speak French with a stutter. Okay, Project Fail Blazer continues. In this video, we're going to be removing the front suspension components off of the parts truck and swapping it over to our good trailblazer. So, we're going to start with the passenger side, swap it over, and then go driver side. I believe in this video also, we're going to be putting all new brakes, uh, new rotors, and new pads all the way around on my uh, blazer as well. So, let's get started. Okay, I've got the whole unit ready to slide on. My goal here is to get it picked up and get the lower control arm setting on the mounts and then try to snake the strut tower bolts up through there and then get the upper control arm on. We'll just see how well this works doing this by myself. I'm probably gonna throw my back out. Okay. Slid the spindle through the hub there. Got it hung just enough to be able to slide a bolt to hold the lower control arm. Sorry, I got in the way there. It's hard to be able to see what I just did. But I got a bolt started on this lower control arm. Try to get the other one in. Okay. Trying to get this other bolt in. It's supposed to go in this way. The boot is kind of in the way. It's kind of obstructing my ability to push this bolt in. There we go. Okay, I've tightened the strut tower bolts. Those 18 millimeter bolts. I've got both bolts in now for the lower control arm. I don't have them tightened yet. Now I'm going to work on this upper control arm, but before I do that, I need to snake my brake caliper back over here. All right, now I'm ready to bolt the upper control arm back into place. Okay, so what I did was I put the bolt into the upper control arm on each side, stuck the control arm down low, and then lifted it up and wiggled it until I could get the bolt into the hole for the uh, upper frame mount here. And then once I got the bolts in, I kind of hand turned the bolt and then I got a pair of uh, these little pliers here and just got a hold of the, the bolt and spun it until the head of the bolt is past the inner fender well. And now I'll get my wrench on it. And I'll tighten these down the rest of the way. I almost forgot that uh, I put this spare jack I had underneath the front spindle here and lifted it up. Took some pressure off of the top so I could get the bolts in for the upper control arms. Went ahead and rerouted the ABS uh, sensor line and uh, putting these 10 millimeter bolts back in for the bracket for this line and the bracket for the brake line for the caliper. I'm going to go ahead and put the axle net on. We'll torque it down whenever it's all back down on the ground. Okay, this is a 21 millimeter nut right here. All right, I just realized I goofed up. I should have lifted my sway bar up here whenever I put my lower control arm on because now it's 
now I can't get to lift up. So Look what you it. did, you little jerk. What I'm gonna end up having to do is take the sway bar bolts off, take it down, flip it up, bolt those back up, and bolt that together. So just made myself some more work. All right, let's go after that driver's side now. The lower control arm mounts uh, were pretty bad on this Trailblazer. I was able to get them out on the parts truck. I was just really kind of exploring to see what was going on with those lower bushings, if they could come out or not. And you already take out two large bolts right here and here. Those bolts essentially hold in the lower control arm bushings. You can see the bolt would go through there. That holds that side. And then there's one more bolt on this side, right underneath. It's right in this hole right here. That's this bolt right here. I don't think this was supposed to come off. I think it just came off. I think that's supposed to be molded into the, to the frame there, and you're supposed to just take the bolt out. Anyway, I got it out by using a crowbar and just getting in behind the bushing and just using the crowbar, and I just slowly pried that lower control arm bushing out. So now that I know that it's relatively easy to come out, it's a little too late because I've already put this side together on our good trailblazer. So do I take the time to undo those bolts, remove the lower control arm, and try to take out those? I don't know. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! but I will certainly do it on the other side, the driver's side, that uh, I haven't messed with yet. So I'm gonna get this off on the driver's side of this vehicle and swap it over onto the other. surfaces where this is going to go in. I've also sprayed a little WD-40 on the control arm itself. Okay, now I just hope my bolt holes line up. Okay, bolts went in just fine. You can see I've got two of them started here. I'm not ready to put those in yet, but they start to, to catch. So these are in. So now we're ready to install the suspension uh, system on the driver's side. All right, I'm gonna remove this front axle since mine came apart at the CV joint. What I'm gonna do is take my pry bar here. I'm gonna hit the back side of this shaft here from underneath the vehicle. I took off that plastic covering. That's gonna give me access to be able to hit this from behind and uh, knock it out. Okay, it's going to give us a few love taps. Okay, this is going to leak when I pull it out. Got a small little bucket here. It's going to catch the fluid. Well, at least I thought it was going to leak. My dad, he's a liar. All right, now we're just gonna install it into the blitz. All right, that's locked in. Now we're ready to put on the suspension.
had it. I had it. It slipped. It's a little peep. I had it. Oh, for the love of Pete, I had it. I had it. And it slipped. It was all lined up. Aha! Aha! Got it. Aha! Yes! First try. All right. The bottom is in. Whew. I'm using this jack to lift the whole unit, the whole suspension up. The two bolts lined up with the holes in the the tower uh, brace there. I'm just lifting the spindle upward so the bolts get exposed, and I'm going to put the 18 millimeter bolts up there and tighten down the threat power. See where those strut tower bolts are. One's right there, one's right there. Okay, everything is pretty well buttoned back up. I just tightened the lower control arm bolts. I've got the brake line, everything, these two bolts in with the 10 millimeter that connects the brake line and the ABS sensor wire. Upper control arms are tightened down. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, put the uh, hub nut on, tighten it down, and then once it's all buttoned up, back on the ground, that's when I'll torque it down. But for now, we're just gonna put the hub nut on. And pretty much, besides the sway bar, pretty much everything is put back together. All right, this is killing me that I don't have the new bushings on the truck. My wife's gone to town, she's got some shopping to do. Uh, she told me she'd pick up some brake pads and some rotors for me at AutoZone. So I've got some time to kill. I'm gonna pull off the lower control arm, see if I can't swap out the bushings. You might as well do something while you're doing nothing. Here goes nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna fix the mistake that I made. I'm gonna undo the sway bar and line it back up above the control arm, bolt everything back in and get that sway bar end link bolted to the control arm. On the 2003 model, you've got 18 millimeter nut, and you got a little spot there where you can put your wrench on it. The newer models have an Allen wrench on the end of the bolt. That's how you keep the bolt still. All right, now I'm gonna put this bottom plate back on. 
that covers up the steering rack. All right, so we're about ready to finish this thing up. We've got everything tightened down, everything's plugged in, everything is bolted where it should go. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're uh, I even changed the oil in the truck. The only thing I lack is a plastic uh, cover over the oil pan on the underside of the truck. We've got brand new rotors and brake pads. As soon as we get those on, we'll get the wheel on, lower the truck, and then we'll torque down the hub nut to 103 foot-pounds, and we'll call it a day. So this hub nut gets torqued down to 103 foot-pounds. Man, I tell you what, I'm absolutely wiped. What a day. Got the whole front end rebuilt with the parts off of the parts truck. Just so glad to have that over onto the blazer now. So we accomplished what we set out to accomplish and that was to get this thing completely rebuilt and on the ground. It's not quite ready to drive just yet. This passenger side tire, if you look at the driver's side, the passenger side tire is just a little bit cocked in. So I'm gonna adjust that end link and hopefully draw that tire back straight. Definitely need to take this thing into a, uh, an alignment shop. Steering wheel's a little bit crooked, I don't know. Pulling that, that steering rack off of the used one, it wasn't centered, I don't think, and anyway. So taking this thing into a, an alignment shop should straighten everything up and get the steering wheel back in line. So anyway, I accomplished what I wanted to get done today. That'll end this video. Stay tuned for another one. We've got some loose ends we're going to tie up, a couple of things I want to still swap over from the parts truck. So stay tuned for another episode. As always, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you'd like. Hit that like switch on your way out. God bless. We'll see you next time. Alright, pop quiz. Which finger had the band-aid on it? <laughs>